We welcome you to a sold-out independent stadium in Shreveport, Louisiana for the 20th annual Poland Weed Eater Independent Bowl featuring the Michigan State Spartans out of the Big Ten and LSU out of the SEC. There's a deep man, a guy to watch, Derek Mason. Number one in the Big Ten in kickoff return yardage. And he can turn the game around in a hurry. Wade Ritchie kicks it off, and we're underway in Shreveport, Louisiana. And remember, the suspensions will mean that Travis Reese will start at fullback instead of the two-time MVP, Scott Green. So Reese will have a big load to carry early on. Derek Mason, leading receiver on the team, fourth in the Big Ten this year. And up front, Dave Mudge will start in place of the senior, Bob Denton. off to Renaud and gave Northern a two times and since it's all SEC pick he is their leader in leading in sacks and defensive end behind him the leading tackler on the team Alan Stansbury an outside linebacker out of Baton Rouge and in the secondary Calvi Crawford the first defensive back in the history of the school to record over 100 tackles on the season back to pass has a receiver open downfield wide open and it is Mohammed 30 25 20 and Mohammed will score if he doesn't dance around a little bit coach he almost gave that one away he certainly did what you've got to do is you've got to make that play and not let up until you get into the end zone Michigan State catching LSU early six nothing on the second play of the game make it seven nothing on Chris Gardner's extra point and just that quickly, it is seven zip Michigan State, and this partisan crowd of LSU followers has suddenly gotten very quiet here in Shreveport. We'll be back, stay with us. Junior out of Lake Charles, Louisiana. Fairly short kick taken by the up back around the 20-yard line. Clarence Linton, and Linton is smothered right at the 20. And there's the guy they're going to talk about all evening, Kevin Falk, a true freshman out of Corinne Pro, Louisiana. He was freshman offensive player of the year in the SEC. Eddie Kennison, Lake Charles, Louisiana, wide receiver, most outstanding offensive player voted by the coaches this year. And up front, Mark King, the only senior on the offensive line, a two-year starter. He is the leader up front. Taking a look at Kevin Falk. He got motion in the backfield. Herb Tyler, another freshman quarterback, rolling out, looking for a receiver upfield. It has Eddie Kennison, the guy we talked about. He had some people they had to replace, like Kenny Allen, left tackle up front. He leads the team with six sacks, but behind them, they had some concerns because Tyrone Garland is going to start at middle linebacker in place of their leading tackler, Reggie Garnett, and in the secondary, Dan Hackenbrack starts in place of Marvin Wright, who was the second play. leading tackler. There's Jerry DiNardo, head coach at LSU, his first year at LSU after four years at Vanderbilt. And Kevin Falk scampers out of bounds. Receivers early in the ball game challenged the corners of LSU and showed that they could have some success. And of course, he got the whole ball of wax on one play. Motion by Shedrick Wilson. This time again, again to Falk. He's got an opening 45 50 down the sidelines. Falk can move. And he will finally be caught from behind inside the Spartan 20 yard line. Gives him a first out inside the 20 yard line. Make it to Michigan State 19. The give to Kendall Cleveland. He's a little bit bigger back. In fact, about 20 pounds larger than Kevin Falk. Cleveland the setback, but here is Tyler looking upfield and has a receiver at the 12-yard line. Once again, it's Eddie Kennison. Anthony McFarland, number 94, and he is in the up-back position, fullback, and he leads the way for Falk, who will have the first down. The stand. First and goal from the seven-yard line. LSU trying to drive and tie it up. Once again, the pitch back to Cleveland, and he will score. Down. Here is Andre LaFleur for the extra point. He will make it 35 in a row in 1995, and just that quickly, it is 7-7 on this run by Kendall Cleveland. Less than three minutes gone, and we scored twice. Back in a moment. Oh, this is going to light it up tonight. 
Wade Ritchie kicking it off and deep in the end zone, eight yards deep, is Derek Mason and he will kneel down. That 78 yard completion on their first possession, the longest pass play for Michigan State University this year. First and 10 for the Spartans, 20 yard line. The give to the tailback, that is Mark Renaud, and he will fight forward for maybe a couple yards. And that Gain of three on the carry by Renaud. Now Banks back in the shotgun. The inside handoff to Renaud again. And he will get maybe a couple. Shotgun formation by Banks. Wide receivers, Mohammed and Mason. And flags all over the field. There's Mohammed with the reception, 35, 40. And he will dance out to the 43-yard line before he is finally forced out of bounds. First and 10, their own 43-yard line. Banks will give it again to the field back for Renaud. He's up to the 45 and smothered there. In the conference, just 308 total yards of defense. Mason, the receiver, bottom of your screen. Najia Carter, top of your screen. Second and eight for Michigan State. And once again, Spartans. Dead ball. Delay of the game on the offense. Need to call it across the five. Second and 13 on the penalty. Tony Banks back to pass, and he will be horse collared back there, and they will call that a fumble. His arm had not gone forward, and Gabe Northern, who led the team with nine sacks this year, picks up sack number 10, or action, and gets your quarterback hammered, and it costs him right there. On the turnover, LSU will take possession at the Michigan State 26 to give inside the Falk, and he gets maybe a yard, yard and a half, down to the 25-yard line. And a fumble, and Michigan State will get the ball right back. That one turnover each, pretty even matchup, I think. 7-7 seven, seven football game, each team having scored early on. And here is Banks rolling to his right. The pass has a receiver upfield, and it's the tight end, Josh Kerr. Michigan State moving once again. Line of scrimmage, their own 41-yard line. They scored, if you just joined us, in the second play. Offensively, a 78-yard pass play. Banks to Muhammad. And Pat Rogers there. That'll bring up a second and essentially nine and a half, almost 10 yards. Banks back to pass. Has Muhammad and will throw it behind him up over the 50-yard line. Muhammad had a step. Third and long shotgun by the senior quarterback from Michigan State. Getting some pressure. And he will try to scramble and now throw it downfield. And not a wise toss at all by Banks. That ball almost picked off. One punt returner in the SEC, Eddie Kennison. A low end over end kick hits about the 27 yard line and will roll down toward the 20. Kennison walks away, and that's where Michigan State will down it. And in the air, Banks to Muhammad. LSU driving the length of the field for their touchdown. Completion to David LaFleur, the tight end. State Old Miss in Arkansas in his three starts as a true freshman. Yep, once again to Cleveland. Has some running room up over the 30-yard line. LSU. Offense scored a combined 115 points with Tyler at the quarterback. And he just, he's going to go deep. Has a receiver and overthrows the outstretched hands of Shedrick Wilson. On those type of routes. Bring up a second and 10, just over the 30-yard line. Motion by Falk. And here is Tyler. We'll give it off to Cleveland inside. 35, 36, 37-yard line. Both their leading and second-leading tacklers for Michigan State not allowed to start because of a curfew violation. Here's a pass thrown behind Wilson. But Eric Mason back to receive. And a low line drive spiral sends Mason backpedaling inside the 15-yard line. Dodges one tackler and moves to the outside. Now has running room. Mason, 30-35, and that's where he'll finally be brought, brought down. And it's 14-7 all of a sudden, but that doesn't happen. Kessler makes a tackle, and Michigan State will take over on the 36-yard block. Banks rolling to pass. Has a receiver, Muhammad, once again, and he is forced out of bounds by Torrey James. Second and six. Michigan State get to the tailback Renaud and he is smothered at the line of scrimmage. Allen Stansbury there. Third and five. Banks in the shotgun. Upfield. Has a receiver, Nigia Carter, and it's good enough for the first down. 
out of Orlando, Florida. He got up and walked off the field. And Banks once again has a receiver and a great defensive play by Alan Stansberry out of Baton Rouge. Second and 10, the inside handoff to Renaud has an opening, 45, 40, cuts to the outside, and that's where he'll be chased out of bounds, about the 31-yard line. He needed just 22 yards to become the 12th Spartan ever to rush for over 1,000 yards in the season. He got 20 right there. First and 10, Michigan State driving once again. Score all tied up, 7-7. Flags fly, Renaud once again the ball carrier. Illegal motion on the offense, five yards, previous spot. Repeat first down. Hoping to get their programs back on track after a couple of years of uh, they did not have winning seasons. Once again, back to pass, getting some pressure. He has Mason in the end zone, and, whoa, he cannot hang on. One official signals touchdown, but he was shielded. Michigan State second and 15 on the motion penalty. High formation. Banks will give it to the tailback, Renaud, 35-30, and Renaud up to the 25-yard line. It will be short of the first down by third and four. Michigan State trying to keep their drive alive. Banks back to pass, has the screen set up. 10-5, yard line. High formation for the Spartans, first and goal, and a fumble on the center exchange, and Banks... Drops the football, and LSU will recover the fumble at about the three-yard line. The center quarterback exchange might have had something to do with that mishap. Second turnover of the game here for Michigan State. This time the handoff to Cleveland, Kendall Cleveland, a redshirt freshman. Second down deep in their own territory. Cleveland again, the handoff up over the five, six, seven, up near the 10-yard line. Third and a couple. And Tyler will hand it off once again and up near the 15-yard line. That should be enough for the first down. Is predominantly partisan LSU crowd, the sellout crowd, and a lot of them from nearby Baton Rouge. And once again, have to lay a game against Still LSU. Here's a look at Morris Watts, offensive coordinator. And again, the handoff to Cleveland around the right side, 10, 11, 12-yard line. And then... Second and 12 for the Tigers, deep in their own territory. Motion by Falk, and he will get the pass at the 12-yard line. Dances around one defender, two, and just can't quite get away. You take your tail back, get him out on the corner, get the ball in his hands quickly, and let him run one on one. Early in the second quarter, so we'll let you know. We'll keep an eye on Green. LSU, shotgun formation by Tyler, and the ball is swatted and picked off by Carl Reeves, and Reeves at the 20-15, and it's finally caught from behind by Eddie Kennison to save the touchdown inside the five. Both teams now with two turnovers, high formation, and the give to the fullback, his first carry is Scott Green, and he will score. First carry of the game by the senior from Canandaigua, New York, two-time MVP for the Spartans after being disciplined, not able to play the first quarter. He comes in, takes the handoff. Teammates take an early second quarter lead. And the extra point attempt is blocked from Chris Gardner, and they will scramble and cover the ball. The fifth. Makes it 13, Michigan State, LSU 7, with 14.43 remaining here in the first half. Chris Gardner's at the tee it up for the Spartans of Michigan State. Eddie Kennison is deep. Low line drive. Hits about the 15. There is Kennison at the 20. 25. Has an opening to the outside. And he is at the 40. 45. One man to beat. And Kennison will score. 30, 25, 20, 15. And market six for the Tigers. Ninety-two yards, Eddie Kennison, junior from Lake Charles, Louisiana, of the Michigan State Spartans. And the extra point by LaFleur is good, and just that quickly, we have back-to-back -back scores once again. We got him in the first quarter, now we get him in the second quarter, but the, but the missed extra point by Michigan State cost them a tie. It is 14-13 LSU, and we're just a point apart. 
the game has everything as far as the fans. We've got the great score, but also what's so important is we've had big plays on both sides of the line of scrimmage. Here's Derek Mason, and he is 35, and Mason will take it back. 50, 45, back-to-back -back returns for touchdowns. 100 yards for the second time in his career. Junior Derek Mason did it a year ago against Penn State, and he does it here in the Independence Bowl. And Michigan State will go for two, having missed the extra point on the previous touchdown. And here is Banks. He will give the ball inside to the fullback, Green, and he will fight his way over for the two-point conversion. He was being returned from the stands from the previous extra point on the previous play. Kevin Falk takes the kickoff, 25-30, oh, not again, 35-40, 42-yard line, and Falk has one guy to beat and one more cut, and suddenly we would have three. Had the idea of that vertical field position being all the way into the end zone as we've seen it. And here's a plunker around to Kennison, but it's diagnosed that he cannot make the tackle, 40-45-yard line, and Kennison will tumble up near the 50. Before trying to drive once again and tie this football game up. Give the ball. He has running room on the outside. And it cuts it up at the 25-yard line. And Falk will score. The official pointed to the sideline said, no, he did not step out of bounds. And Kevin Falk takes it in from 51 yards out. And with the extra point coming up momentarily, once again, we're going to be tied. Right there, we saw right at the end of the play by Wilson. And the extra point is good. And once again, we're all tied at 21 apiece here in Shreveport, Louisiana. 13 minutes and 11 seconds remaining in the second quarter. And we have scored 42 points here. Folks, stay tuned. This is going to be a barn burner. Back in a moment. Making up for that fumble earlier in the turnover deep in their territory. Clay Ritchie kicks it off. A low tumbler down to Derek Mason. Not going to give Mason a shot to catch it in the air. And Mason still dances over the 25. And then it's hammered as recruited players in the country last year. And off to the fullback green. He is around the right side, up near the 40-yard line. That'll be enough for the first down. All the fireworks here in the first half. 42 points have been scored, and we still have 12 minutes to play in the first half. Once again, the handoff to Green, and he has a huge opening right side, 40, 35, 30, and he is finally tripped up, and that'll bring a flag. Blocking for Scott Green on the cornerback, and we've got a hole. Carter held his bricks big into the LSU secondary. Motion by Muhammad, bottom of your screen. Once again, the handoff to the big fullback, Green, and he will get maybe a couple. Second and eight, Banks. Looks downfield, will throw short over the outstretched hands of Scott Green. And Banks, 6 of 11, 144 yards and a touchdown. That one, a 78-yard strike to Musa Muhammad. Once again back. And looking for the receiver, almost picked off. And deep to receive, Eddie Kennison, leading punt returner in the SEC. High spiral, will hit about the five-yard line and stop. Looked like a nine-iron shot. And a great roll in the second quarter. Well, all I can say is back-to-back -back kickoff returns. And a 92-yarder by Kennison, a 100-yarder by Mason, and a 51-yard run by Falk as the whistles blow. Falk again, has costed him some valuable time. This is the, the second time now they've had to delay the game penalty. He said, Coach, I got my wristband on upside down. Can't read the plays. <laughs> And he gives this one to Falk, who dances and doodles his way up over the 20. And Falk has got one man to beat downfield, 50-45. Cuts it back, 35-30. And finally, Ike Reese, the linebacker, had the angle. Shedrick Wilson, the second time he's made a key block downfield for Falk. Take a look at those numbers. Seven rushes, 170 yards. That was a 68-yard run by Falk. He gets a breather. And another outstanding freshman comes in, and he turns the ball loose. And the officials there will say the ball was down, and Michigan State will protest. With Marshall, that he is one of the real outstanding young running backs in all of college football. And Tyler gets smothered under. Uh, Jerry. Well, if you're Jerry DiNardo, you've got to be smiling and thinking about the future of LSU football with those young on the football team. 
Okay, the screen to the tailback Cleveland is diagnosed by I by his own 10 yard line. Flags fly. Low floater will hit about the seven yard line and be picked up at the one. Gonna be a procedure penalty called against L. Having to re kick after a procedure penalty. Kessler gets a good one off again and it will hit on the four yard line and be down at the four. So we may beat that one here. We're still in the first half and 42 of it scored. Michigan State deep in their own territory and smothered at about the one yard line. He will be thrown for about a two yard loss. About 10 yards in the middle of the field. Second down from their own one yard line and he is stoned at the line of scrimmage. And LSU's players are saying, signaling safety, but not quite. Third and about 14. They get 13 from their own one yard line. Need to get up almost to the 20 yard line. Banks rolling to his right. Has a receiver upfield. It's Muhammad, and Muhammad is about two yards shy of the first down. Well, he will catch the ground on his own end zone, make the completion for the first down. He has a little bit of breathing room now. I formation. They will give it to the tailback or not. 20, 25, he has an opening, 35, and he is finally brought down from behind. Mark Bernard, the sophomore tailback, eight carries, 63 yards here in the first half. Back to throw once again, Banks looking deep, has a receiver wide open downfield and just overthrows Derek Mason. That's how quick Mason was to get by him. Second and 10, and flags fly. Dead ball. False start on the offense. Five yards. Previous spot. Shreveport, Louisiana. Banks on the inside handoff to Green, the fullback, and he is up near the 40-yard line. Mohammed in motion. Shotgun formation by Tony Banks. Third and long. Nine yards to go. Bank looks upfield as a receiver. And that'll be good enough for the first down, depending on the spot. They will spot it near the 50 on some deep threats, so they're giving him a little room. That enabled him to make the 11-yard reception for the first down. Michigan State at midfield. The give to the tailback, Renaud, and he will ball forward for about two and a half. Going a tight press coverage, but on the snap of the ball, they are bailing out of there and respecting the speed. And that one upfield. Nigia Carter. What a great week for college football and college football fans here on ESPN. Once again, again to the tailback, Mark Renaud, James Gilliard there to make the stop. 11th play of the drive for Michigan State. Line of scrimmage, the LSU 39-yard line. Second and nine, and once again, the handoff to the tailback, and he is smothered at the line of scrimmage. Third and ten. Shotgun formation by Banks. Two wide receivers near side of your screen. Muhammad is open at the 20-yard line, and he overthrows him. Musin Muhammad, who is punt returner in the SEC. Eddie Kennison. Salani trying to kick away. Angle toward the coffin corner, and it will bounce in the end zone, and LSU will have it on their own 20-yard line. Yards every time he touches the football. And they give it to the redshirt freshman tailback Kendall Cleveland second leading tackler for the Spartans and this the handoff once again the Cleveland left side 21 22 yards maybe a couple of yards the focus goes to the football game that's the real reason you're here third and eight and Falk gets the handoff he will get maybe a yard yard and a half with it and Kessler who has who launched a 64 yard this year will not get off a very good kick it's a great roll and down about the 35-yard line, Derek Mason there to pick it up and try to get some yardage. In the daylight, he just turned it on and outran the entire coverage team. And Banks on the completion upfield on the 50-yard line. Derek Mason, young man enjoying supporting his college. And once again, a, a rifle shot to Derek Mason. For Nebraska, they won six of the next 10 to play their way here under the Independence Bowl. Banks will scramble 40-35, and they may need to use their final timeout on a scrimmage, the LSU 33-yard line. Banks looking upfield, has a receiver, and he juggles it and can't quite hang on. 
That is Derek Mason. Deep ball. Try to get it in the end zone one time before the half. Mason has beaten Torrey James a couple of times deep. This time he tries the inside route, and he can't hang on. It would be a 49-yard field goal. Had they attempted it from here, they will not. Fourth down. Banks looking downfield. Has Mohammed over the middle. 30, 25, 20, and he will get out of bounds with 15 seconds left in the first half and the first down. Michigan State now driving. That was Mohammed's fifth reception, 129 yards and a touchdown. Banks looking downfield, and he will be thrown. He gets rid of the football. Second and 10. 11 seconds remain in the first half. Banks trying to look toward the end zone. He will toss it there and just over the hands of Derek Mason. Gardner is three of five from 30 to 39 yards this year. This is a 37-yard attempt. They're trying to put the Spartans up by three. Kick is up, and it is good. So with one second remaining here in the first half, Michigan State will take a three-point lead. That's the onside or boost kick we expected, and that will run out the clock here in the first half. At the end of one half here, we have 45 points scored. Michigan State leads LSU 24-21, and Mike, what has been a shootout here in Shreveport. Glad to have you with us, Bill Lewis and Jerry Park. Second half of the Polar Reader Independence Bowl. Tennyson from his own three-yard line. Up over the 15-20, has an opening, and he is... Brought down at the 25-yard line. Bucker miss in the middle of the field and then use the system to go all the way. In and out of the hands of David LaFleur. A few players are pointing toward Michigan State. First possession of the second half, 24-21. Michigan State at halftime. And once again, the Yellow Hankies come out. And Tyler looking deep, wide open is Kennison down on about the 12-yard line. And he will make the catch. An offside Michigan State. And a personal foul Michigan State. So both penalties against the Spartans make it first and goal for LSU here in the opening possession of the second half. Line of scrimmage, the Michigan State five-yard line. Spartans up by three. The pitch to Falk. Three, two, one, touchdown. the extra point the kick is up and good really strong leg he is the place kicker of the future for the Tigers but they're going to the guy who's very dangerous and they're not going to him at all no no way they're kicking it to the up man and he is smothered about the 38 yard line with Wake Forest holding on for a 39 35 victory and I think we have a shot at breaking that tonight Back to pass, the completion upfield. The tight end, Josh Kerr. Exciting college football action on ESPN. Still got another one coming your way under tonight from San Diego. Banks back to pass, has a receiver, Mohammed, at the 50 yard line. Two for two and, and throwing the hard ball once again. Tailback. Mark Renaud, Scott Green, the two-time MVP for Michigan State, pass overthrown intended for Derek Mason. Six lead changes in this football game. Sounds like a stock car race. Back to pass once again, and he can't hang on. Josh Kerr, 36.9 yards for the season. A high kick down to Kennison. No fair catch at his own 10-yard line, and he is smacked immediately in atmosphere here tonight. Sellout crowd here at Shreveport. Uh, incredible, over 50,000 here, and yeah, we're talking about bringing LSU, bringing Michigan State in. Great relationship yeah, here it. with the Independence Bowl. And off to the running back, Falk. What Jerry Denaro did with his LSU football team after this play. Third down. And sailing one upfield, double coverage on Shedrick Wilson. 
Jackson and Bam. Those were the only folks that weren't there, but it was a tremendous gesture on the part of Coach DiNardo to the people that support LSU, the university, and LSU, the football program. They had the stands full at the... They have come here early in the week. The LSU fans, as have the Michigan State fans, to enjoy the great atmosphere and the weather in Street Park. Michigan State on offense. This time to give to the tailback, Mark Renaud. All you missed was 45 points and 556 yards of total offense. In the second half, we're sort of seeing some of the same. LSU has already scored once. And Michigan State on offense, completion to Mohammed. He's got some blockers, but an outstanding effort by Corey James out of the left cornerback position to fight through the blockers and make the tackle. Three wide receivers in, shotgun formation, LSU faking the blitz. And the flags come. Looks like one of the LSU linebackers may have stepped into the neutral zone. Dead ball. Ball start on the offense. Third down. Three wide receivers. Mason, Muhammad, and Napoleon Outlaw, top of your screen. Shotgun formation by Banks. Looks downfield, getting rushed, and he will be smothered by Greg Hill and a host of Tigers, and they have taken possession of the ball. Gabe Northern picks up the football and will ramble down and score for LSU. Oh, my. What a turnaround. Northern's knees never touched the ground. He alertly scooped it up and ran it in for the score. Extra point is good on the 37-yard fumble return by Northern, and suddenly LSU is up by 11, 35, 24, with 9 minutes, 20 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. We'll be back. Trips the ball from Tony Banks. Wade Ritchie kicks a low-line drive, and they hand it off back there to Mason. And Mason comes to the near sideline, and no, he will not get away this time as he is brought down about the 26-yard line. Talked about needing to be able to throw the ball effectively, open up the running game, and they could do that in the first half. They have not done it here in the third quarter. And now Banks will scramble on the side, tells Mohammed to go downfield, and he has him open, but the ball almost picked off an alert play by Clarence Lynn. The LSU rush, second and ten. Michigan State's offense sputtering here in the third quarter. They give it to the fullback, Green, and he will go nowhere. In fact, will probably lose a yard. Third and 11. In their own territory, Banks has the receiver. Ball is tipped and intercepted at Stansbury, and he will scramper down to the 15-yard line. And the turnovers keep piling up for the Spartans. 15-yard line. Fourth turnover tonight for Michigan State. They try the... Flanker around, the ball gets away, and it looks like it's been recovered. This team certainly understands what it's like to be behind. And they have fought their way back and won five times after trailing in the second half. Pass upfield. Third and 23 for the Tigers. Line of scrimmage, the Michigan State 27-yard line. Here is Tyler looking for the end zone. Wide open is Kennison, and they will give him six. Beautiful pass, and that had to be a busted coverage back here because Eddie Kennison had five yards on Demetrius Martin. And now LaFleur for the extra point. It is good. And it is 42-24 LSU. And now you're seeing why. Wade Ritchie kicks it off. And the short man will bring it up over the 30-35 yard line. It is 42-24 LSU. After a 24-21 halftime lead by Michigan State, they have been unable to move the football until now. That completion to Renaud, 40 inside the 40-yard line. Thanks to give the tail back Renaud, and he is stopped short of the line of scrimmage. That's a foul based on frustration. Second and 26 on the building. Banks back to pass. As the receiver upfield, and Mason makes the reception down about the 37-yard line. Michigan State trying to get their offense on track here in the third quarter. They have scored no points in the second half, and behind, from behind again, Mason, or Banks, I should say, and it'll be LSU football. 
He does have to leave the site. He has to leave the stadium. In college football, they are permitted to stay on the sideline, as we see Adams uh, doing in this case. Down their offense is struggling. On the defense, first down. And now the line of scrimmage is Michigan State territory. Here is Falk inside the 40-yard line, down to about the 39, and less than five minutes remaining here in the third quarter in Shreveport, and once again, Falk gets the handoff, and he will go nowhere. From the middle linebacker position, and put him in the hole. Third and three, back to pass, and the pass is complete to the tight end, LaFleur, 30, 25, 20, and he will be chased out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. First and 10, 15-yard line, Falk given the handoff and he is brought down behind the line of scrimmage an outstanding effort there's a look at kevin fox numbers on the evening 181 yards averaging 12.9 a carry looking deep in the end zone once again and the pass is overthrown intended for shedrick wilson and that fence there is a little bit difficult here is tyler on the shovel pass and it'll be an incomplete pass. He will kick the ball from after the 27-yard line. 38-yard field goal. His longest of the year, 51 against Mississippi State. Low line drive kick, and it is wide left. And Michigan State gets a reprieve. Here to support the LSU folks, Tony Banks. Take a look at the first and second half. What a difference. Banks trying to get the... Spartan offense on track, but it won't happen there. Loss of 14, it'll bring up a second and 24. The draw play to Renaud. He gets an opening, 5-10. And finally, Gilliard once again will bring down Renaud, third and 12. Line of scrimmage, their own 19-yard line. Banks tries to scramble out. LSU with five sacks this evening and a low wobbler up to about the 47 48 yard line and that's where they'll blow it dead the third quarter has been their weakest quarter all year long they have scored just 49 points in the third quarter and that is pretty evident here in what we've just seen great tackle that's the end of the third quarter. Our score, LSU 42, Michigan State 24. We've got 15 minutes to play. This one don't want to go away. This could be four sacks allowed by Michigan State, and that's the differential now at 21 points for LSU. Kennison, and he will make the catch and run out of bounds inside the 25. Motion by Kevin Falk, top of the screen, and Tyler will get the inside handoff. For Robert Toomer. He's an outstanding athlete as a freshman from Walker High School in New Orleans. Another hand to get off once again, another outstanding freshman, Kevin Falk and Demetrius Underwood. The extra preparation time has really helped this young man mature in terms of his mental uh, approach to the game. Tyler has a receiver in the end zone and he throws it a little too far. Shedrick Wilson was open from a walk on. Awarded a scholarship at LSU this year. What an outstanding job he has done. The kick was up. And he misses it near side again. So near side, uh, Michigan State trying to get on track. Their most productive periods this year on offense have been the first and fourth quarters. Both those quarters, they have scored 70 or more points. They need to come back and get something on the board here to try to get back in this one. Enjoying this one here, the 20th annual edition of the Paul Weeder Independence Bowl in Michigan State. Trailing here in the fourth quarter and unable to get any protection at all. Tony Banks. Third and 18. Banks pumps once, looks deep, throws over the middle and almost has Moussa Mohammed, who can't quite hang on. It's devastating to Michigan State. Solani's kick, a high spiral. Kennison back at the 48, back pedal to his own 40, now comes over the 50-yard line and will dance out of bounds. But got to remember, Michigan State has come back so many times this year, but they are going to have to get something on track in a hurry, and 
Kennison trying to hang on. I think they're going to let him mix some before the quarter's out. So, hand off to Falk. Gets a hit on him in the backfield. He is loose in the secondary. And boy, what a touchdown saving tackle that was. There are the numbers of Thunder and Lightning, Falk and Cleveland. Dead ball, personal foul on the offense. First foul. To a football team when you're hit with those penalties. And off to Falk around the left side again. And Falk again will get about six or seven before being forced out of bounds. Use this bowl experience to build on and have a strong recruiting year this year. A couple of yards by Falk. So I we're hoping that uh, when you're around him in the locker room or during the pregame that Wayne will get a chance to coach some more down the road. A couple of yards. And to give to Falk once again, he will get three or four more. His poise, composure, talent, he's got great heart. Chris Smith. Wade Ritchie, the sophomore placekeeper from Corinco, Louisiana. And he is going to attempt one from 49 yards. Has a strong leg. It's long enough. And it is good. So the young man who was the USA Today and Consensus High School All-American kicker a couple of years ago hits a 49-yarder and expands the lead. Shreveport and the Tigers move out 45-24 over Michigan State. We'll be back. What a great week it's been for us here and for the bowl teams participating in this Wheat Eater Independence Bowl. First and 10 from the Spartans. Line of scrimmage, their own 25. Mason scrambling, and he will tuck it and run 30, 35, and he steps out of bounds just at the 35-yard line. Line of scrimmage at 35. That's where Tony Mason, Tony Banks and company will go to work. Banks back to pass, looking upfield, and has Napoleon Outlaw, the backup wide receiver. Shotgun formation by Banks. Second and short. Looking downfield, has a receiver downfield and will throw it to the near side. And receivers top of your screen, Mohammed and Outlaw, Mason, bottom of your screen. They will hand it off to the tailback, Renaud, and he will get about four yards. Syracuse and Rhode Island. That's the finals of the Rainbow Classic out in Hawaii. Mohammed on the reception. Great move, leaps over the defender. And Scrambling looks upfield and he will scamper out of bounds at the 35. Chris Canny, second in the nation with eight interceptions on the year. That should be something to watch coming up from San Diego. Oh, he can't quite hang on. Mark Renaud had plenty of running at the LSU 36 yard line. Once again, shotgun by Tony Banks. Three wide receivers and looking to the outside for Derek Mason once again. Bobby Ingram and Terry Glenn. It's hard to hear much about Derek Mason as a wide receiver. Banks scrambles to his right, heaves it toward the end zone, and it'll be a jump ball. Second interceptor of the night, and LSU will take over deep in their own territory. What a talented young man. And the good thing about Mason for the Spartan fans, he's a junior. He'll be back next year. A little over six minutes away from conclusion. Coming up next, the Holiday Bowl from San Diego. Here is Tyler back to pass, and it's Robert Toomer. He launched the 64-yarder against Auburn early, and he will not kick the ball. He will just stand there, and if someone doesn't get to him, the clock's going to run out. And finally, they run him out of bounds. They will take the safety, and then they will be able to kick the ball away from their own 20-yard line. You don't want to block punt recovering your end zone for what could be the winning score. Wade Ritchie just booms one down inside the five-yard line, and Derrick Mason will pick it up. Remember, he's already had a 100-yarder tonight, and he will reverse the field back to the 10-yard line, now back up to the 11, and boy, what a talent. Still on his feet. Mason scrapping and digging. Have the lead that you had. On the kicking team, first down. 
has given Michigan State a little better field position than what they would have had inside their own 20. Here is Banks rolling to his right as the receiver, Muhammad. And they're trying to keep Muhammad in bounds, keep the clock running, and they manage to do so. A 19-point deficit by Michigan State. And once again, Banks will scramble and toss it upfield to Napoleon Outlaw. And he'll make the reception. Start that'll be as they go back into spring practice to prepare for the 96 season. No doubt about that. A youth movement at Baton Rouge. And, oh, picked off. And that one will be picked off by Torrey James. He is one of the seniors back there. And the training staff there looking at that young man. And to give the Falk has an opening up over midfield. And he can just go and attack it. Less than four and a half minutes remaining here. And once again, Falk has the carry. He tries to stay in bounds and will. Jerry, that could be the best performance by a freshman running back during this entire bowl season. And then you can't wait to get into spring practice. Comfort Weed or Independence Bowl, they sold it out. And what a show they put on tonight. And that young man was a major part of it, Kevin Paul. Considering that the margin here is 19 points, the game's essentially decided. If anything happens, we'll keep you updated. But we don't want you to miss any of the game. The Plymouth Holiday Bowl, Kansas State, Colorado State.